today I'll be talking about the 10 most used exotics in Season of the Deep. Let's get right into the video. Coming in at number 10 is the Osteo Striga. This kinetic SMG currently has a 1.02% usage rate and its exotic perk is Screaming Swarm, stating that this weapon fires a stream of sentient, toxic projectiles that track the targeted enemy. It also comes with the perk Toxic Overload, stating that landing final blows or multiple precision hits triggers a burst that poisons nearby targets. Osteo Striga is not only one of the most fun primary exotics to play with, but it also has crazy build potential, and it's a great pair for the necrotic grips. Both the fun factor and build potential definitely both play into this weapon being so highly used. I love pulling this thing out in lower level content and just shredding through enemies. In the number 9 spot is the Cold Heart Exotic Trace Rifle, which currently has a usage rate of 1.08%. Its exotic perk reads that this weapon shoots a steady, cold, fusion-powered arc laser, doing more damage the longer it remains on a target. It also generates ionic traces while it's in its high damage state. This weapon is definitely popular this season due to its arc build potential, the fact that it can readily generate ionic traces really makes this weapon great for that, and the fact that this season focuses on arc with the artifact and surge really makes this weapon a great choice. Coming in at number 8 is the Arbalist, which has a usage rate of 1.12%. This kinetic linear fusion fires slugs that cause massive damage to shields and has intrinsic anti-barrier. The Arbalist has always been a solid weapon for running in Nightfalls, and is overall just a good weapon for burst damage, so I'm not really surprised it made this list. It's also definitely being used a lot more now that Ghost of the Deep has come out, since it can take down the shields of both bosses in just one shot. In the number 7 spot is the Malfesians with a 1.33% usage rate. This hand cannon shoots slugs that stick to targets and explode once enough have been stacked. It also comes with intrinsic unstop and does bonus damage against Taken. Quick note, I don't actually own this gun so I'm sorry but I don't gameplay with it. Malfesians has been such a lackluster weapon for so long, but it's recently risen in popularity. That's because it has received multiple buffs along with a new catalyst this season which gives it vorpal weapons. The combination of these things are what has given this weapon what it needs to finally become somewhat meta. At number 6 is the classic G-Horn with a usage rate of 1.43%. I think we all know why this one's popular, it's got wolfpack rounds and can give wolfpack rounds to teammates with legendary rocket launchers, so it's just absolutely needed when doing DPS. It increases the DPS for your entire fire team and does good DPS on its own, such a classic gun in Destiny and it really has always been at the top. At number 5 is the Wither Horde Exotic Grenade Launcher. It currently has a usage rate of 1.74% and its exotic perk is that it basically fires blights that do lingering damage making it a great option for DPS and for ad clear. This weapon is just so versatile, and it's a go-to exotic whenever you don't know what else to use. It's good in almost every situation in the entire game, and it's been that way since its release. I'm honestly surprised it's not higher up on this list. Coming in at number 4 is the Thunderlord, with a current usage rate of 2.46, sorry, 2.45%. Final blows with this weapon create thunder strikes, as well as just damaging targets for a while does the same thing. It also fires faster the longer you hold down the trigger. Back when this weapon didn't have a catalyst, it really wasn't amazing, but with the catalyst, causing thunderstrikes partially reloads the weapon, so you can basically shoot for a really long time. The Thunderlord is definitely one of the best options for DPS, and it's also super easy to use compared to some other options. It's also amazing for ad clear, and comes with intrinsic overload. So many positive things going for this weapon, so no surprise it's popular. In third is the Quicksilver Storm, also currently used by 2.45% of players. When sustaining fire with this weapon, it shoots little homing rockets, which deal decent damage. It can also switch to a grenade launcher mode, and the catalyst makes it turn into a strand weapon, where the grenade launcher kills create tangles. And it does really good burst damage in the grenade launcher mode. Overall, this weapon is just a monster. It does really good damage, even in the regular auto rifle mode, and the fact that it can become a grenade launcher makes it really good for killing beefier targets. And then it's also really good for strand builds. So there's really just so many things that make this weapon amazing right now. And auto rifles currently have anti-barrier this season. So another reason to use this gun. Just like I said with the Wither Horde, when I don't really know what else I want to use, I tend to throw this on because it's good for basically everything. At number 2 is the Wish Ender Bow with a usage rate of 2.63%. This bow gives you wall hacks and comes with anti-barrier. It can also shoot through multiple targets. Sadly, I don't actually own the Wish Hender and I'm not really in the mood to do the quest right now, so I apologize for not having gameplay with it. 
I remember for the longest time, this bow was absolutely cheeks. But now that it has anti-barrier and got some damage buffs, it actually shreds higher health targets. It's kind of crazy to see it being used so much. Finally, the most used exotic this season is actually the new one, the Centrifuge. And basically, sprinting, sliding, and firing with this weapon builds an electric charge that causes explosions on final blows. It also reloads when you're sprinting. And, you know, personally, I don't really see the appeal to this gun. It's fun to use, but at the same time, it's not because you always have to be running around. I constantly feel stressed using this weapon because I'm trying not to lose the charge. And, you know, when you do lose the charge, it sucks because nothing's exploding. I'm not surprised it's being used so much right now, though, since it's new, and it's definitely not bad. It definitely pairs well with the arc theme this season and can be fun to bring into lower level content. Let me know your guys' opinion on this gun and if you actually like using it. I'll definitely be curious to see if it stays on this list in later seasons. Let me know if you guys would want to see another top 10 most used weapons video, but for PvP, I would definitely be down to make one. And I'll see you guys in the next video.